what's up team? Today we're gonna to be doing an awesome experiment. I'm gonna show you guys how to pick up ice with a rope, but we're not gonna be doing it small. We're gonna be doing it big. All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on a small scale. Now, you may have seen this in science class, you may not have, it's a really super easy experiment. So you take some ice, uh, little tiny guys, uh, you float them in this water like a show. You take this rope, like a little, little piece right here, lay it across there, boom, boom, like so, and then you sprinkle some salt. The salt is lowering the freezing temperature, then the salty water is then exiting that area, but it's already cold, and the water that has been created from this then refreezes to the rope itself. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up right here. Oh no, it's attached to the other piece of ice. But it doesn't matter because that worked so well. What? All right, so I feel really confident about that. I think we can step it up a notch. And so I have this big giant piece of ice in the freezer and we're just gonna kind of scale it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put that down there, that's our trophy. We're gonna go with this string first. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do this and fray it out a bit, just so we have more sides, like more of this cotton space for it to uh, sink into. All right, so we're gonna try to, like these are really oblong, weird pieces. We're gonna try to get one piece. That's a good starter piece. That's like a lot bigger than the other ones. Good surface area, maybe even this guy. Let's just see how it floats. This kind of gives a good indication of where we can get some good surface area. There's some good surface area right there, right across the top. So let's do this. So these guys in here, they're melt not melting anytime. Whoa! Whoa! Well, that scared me. Well, it's not totally cracked, so while it's still alive, let's see if we can do the same thing. All right, so got our string right here. And we're gonna place it across the top there. You know, the thing about the oblong ones is we need it to like have some water on the surface. So there we go, next shoe. Go ahead and sprinkle some of this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. What? Look how big that chunk is! It worked! That is gnarly. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this like this. All right, I think we can go bigger. I think it's time to go bigger. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this big chunk of ice that I have in the freezer, and we're gonna cut it right in half because there's a really good surface area on both the front and the back side, but I feel like the, the weight itself, is a, it's a little too heavy, it's a little too thick. So we're gonna cut up some of those pieces and then we're gonna try it in a bigger container, bigger than one of these. Um, we're also gonna try it with this rope. We're gonna see if we can actually get a big chunk of ice using that rope. If we do, I will be super excited. All right, we're gonna cut this bad boy down to size. Here we go. Well, I'm more than halfway. Sweet! <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is see these little, little filaments? I'm gonna slice them like that. I'm gonna fray this thing out so that we get nice little frays like that. All right, here we go. I've got my handy dandy lab assistant, AKA the apartment that we're in, Adrienne Feldman. You guys remember her from the liquid nitrogen uh, coffee experiment. Uh, they were our taste testers. Now, there's a nice good like dog chewed on, frayed, nice little piece. Now those little phalanges are gonna help us put this little guy up. So I'm gonna lay this across like so. Now I'm gonna take said chunk of ice. I think, I thought so too. It's pretty legit. All right, we're gonna just dunk that down in there. Hopefully it doesn't crack and break into a bunch of pieces. So that'd be really terrible. Now we're gonna lay down this guy right here. Like so. Nice, a lot of salt, a lot of salt. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, I almost forgot what 15 was, 14, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, slowly, we're gonna, we're gonna pull this, see if we can get this guy out of here. No, my side's too loose, I think. I think you got it, pull. Oh no, we were so close. 
We were so close, it definitely stuck. We are gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get as much surface area as possible, like so. Now we're gonna add this salt. Don't be salty about it. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Freeze. Freeze. Let's give it a shot. What? Yeah! Look at that, we did it. We picked up this giant piece of ice with this rope in the U fashion, which stands for you Haas. We didn't give up, we killed it, we murdered it. It's happening, look at the backside, totally stuck. We supersized it, woo! What do you think, Danger Feldman over there? Woo! <laughs> She's excited, look at that, yeah! I think I could probably wear this around my neck as like, you know, I did this, it's, it's like my new bling. I think in fact, I'm even gonna give it a shot here if I could just, Wear this like here. Look at that. It's my new, um, it's my science bling, if you will. Oh no! Go <laughs> okay, but it looks just as good in my hand. <laughs> there we go, we did it. We supersized this experiment. We started off with just a little ice cubes and a little tiny string. Then we went to a medium sized string and a piece of ice about the same size as my fist. Then we ended up with this big monster piece of ice and this rope over here that's about, it's a half inch. And so we phalanged it out a little bit and we got this thing to actually lift up right up out of the water with just salt. We didn't tie it around the piece of ice, we did it. We supersized this experiment, which is so awesome. Um, if you guys like this video, go and go us a thumbs up in the comment section below let me know did you think that you could actually scale this experiment from really small to really big if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys really soon